And Tyrell here with Capsim. I've got Brandon Christensen here. He runs several of our products. Currently, one of them he's running on his 24 row corn planter here is an Evo LF. Um, last year, he ran the standard LF. We just got done upgrading of the box and everything in the back. And I was just going to ask him some questions about what about your farm makes using our equipment something that you were interested in in the first place? So we, uh, we grow corn and soybeans, 60 40 rotation, about 3,700 acres. Um, Last year, we finally made the move to go to high speed, and our biggest holdup was always going to be our fertilizer system. We gave the LF a shot last year and had a lot of success. Everything seemed to work very well. Um, but knowing myself, uh, you can always have something better, so Evo was the fit. So now we get turn comp, and uh, we can control our pump, and our range is out of this world. It's, uh, we can have uh, do different rates in our corners, our dry line corners, on our irrigated, different for corn and soybeans, and we don't have to make any modifications, but in a simple to use monitor in the cab. Um, the biggest thing to me year after year is being able to change rates. So uh, we don't have to go through orifice changes, any pump changes, no, none of that. Uh, we can make changes that are very beneficial to the farm without having to worry about equipment. Well, especially if you had like a different fields that have different rates. You know, yes. you can just type that in the monitor instead of getting out swapping orifices. Yes. You can just roll up, type your number in and go. So one thing a lot of guys ask is, what kind of rate range do you think we're gonna be able to get out of the system with your controllable pump and the PW and valves going up and down in their rate range? So I believe, and myself on our farm, I probably won't see anything below five gallon an acre. Um, but if I wanted to come down to, let's say three to five, I could. Um, I may someday run 40, 50. I don't know. I have that flexibility now. This year I'm going to run 15. We're going to trial some 20 gallon maker stuff, but it's not going to hold me back from doing any testing or any trialing on other products because I can, have the range. We can just type it in the monitor. Here. Yep, exactly. It's easy. Easy yep. button, my man. I know. That's that, what we need. Out that's here. what we need. <laughs> well, okay. Ex expand on that. I mean, my boss told me one time, he's like, we can make the coolest thing in the world, but if it's not easy for the guy to use, they'll never buy it. And you were telling us about that earlier. So. Yeah, so it all came in a box that was, I could fit my hands, uh, carried it in myself. Uh, it took me about two days to put it on. That was because uh, the OCD kicked in. Um, a guy probably could install this in an afternoon. I mean, it was simple, easy. You pretty much have your Wilger bodies, your pump, your box on the back, and you wire it and you're done. It's, it's as simple as that. Yeah, it so there's nothing on each row. And I did run, some uh, check valves just to kind of equalize across two fertilizer discs, but you know, the system itself don't need any of that. So and it really looks clean. This is one of the cleanest planters I've seen put it on. Yeah. So props yeah. to you, my man. Thank you. So <laughs> I'll take pride in that. <laughs> so, I mean, that's that's one thing that Capsan can do for you. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, and it's got a lot of flexibility. So not only is Brandon's corn planter capstan equipped, he also has a 10.2 system on his DTS hanging, which is really, really awesome. But from my standpoint, I don't get to work on a lot of DTSs, but uh, I was gonna ask uh, you, uh, what is it that made you interested in looking at the pinpoint for your sprayer? So we bought the sprayer last summer. Um, haven't sprayed in 15 years since a, a good old internship co-op. And I wanted something that was simple. I didn't wanna have to worry about pressure. I wanted to be able to spray and let the machine do its thing, you know? So uh, the main driver was obviously turn comp is a huge thing, but then nozzle by nozzle control. Um, not have to mess with tips, changing things, no time, but uh, labor, you know, you throw somebody new in this machine, everything's kind of set. You don't have to mess with any of those things and understand and have the experience with understanding how the machine's gonna work. You just gotta worry about driving. So those were all pretty, you know, important features to me. Um, but mainly understanding how my planner worked, it was kind of logically makes sense to have this on my sprayer too. There's no stress involved. I mean, it's, uh, you set everything in the pinpoint and you let it, you let it up. You know, the drop up size was a big deal, the coverage. Uh, we did a lot of testing with that, some soybeans and some foliars and everything, and it did its job. It did an unbelievable job. So, so we appreciate your time and 
Thank you for giving us some time to walk around your place and tell us about it. Yeah, thank you.